Did you know that Gautam Adani, one of the richest men in India, started with only a small capital of $100? In this video, we will dive into the life of Gautam Adani, a self-made billionaire and the founder of the Adani Group, one of India's largest conglomerates. We will discuss his background, the companies he founded along with fraud allegations, the kidnappings he endured, his lavish lifestyle and philanthropic efforts. Understanding Gautama Adani's story and his impact on the Indian economy is crucial in today's world, as his companies are involved in a wide range of sectors, from ports to power generation to airports. By the end of this video, you'll have a better grasp of how Adani became one of India's most prominent business tycoons and the controversy surrounding his success. Gautama Adani was born in 1962 in Ahmedabad, India and grew up in a humble family. He began his entrepreneurial journey at a young age when he moved to Mumbai in the late 1970s with just $100 in his pocket. He started out working as a diamond sorter under his brother's company and later founded his own diamond brokerage business. In 1988, he founded Adani Exports Limited, which traded in metals, textiles and agricultural goods. As India's economy began to liberalize in the early 1990s, Watam saw an opportunity to expand his business and established Adani Enterprises Limited in 1994. Under his leadership, the Adani Group diversified into various industries, such as ports, logistics, agribusiness, power generation and renewable energy, and expanded globally, investing in countries like Australia, Indonesia and Myanmar. A significant milestone in his career was in 1998 when he acquired the small port of Mundra in Gujarat. Gautam recognized its potential to become a major logistical hub, transformed it into one of India's most advanced ports, and expanded the company's reach in the infrastructure and logistics industries. Being a prominent industrialist in India, Gautam Adani has an impressive portfolio of companies that span various industries. Adani Green Energy, for instance, is at the forefront of India's renewable energy sector, with a mission to create, operate, and maintain sustainable solar and wind power installations. Their cutting-edge proto-voltaic panels are revolutionizing the capture of solar energy across multiple Indian states. Meanwhile, Adani Ports and SEZ is India's largest private multi-port operator, managing ports like Mundra, Hazira and Dahej, and providing seamless transportation services. Adani Power is another notable company in Gautama Adani's portfolio. As one of India's largest private power producers, they generate electricity from diverse sources, including solar, wind, and thermal, which includes coal and gas. They prioritize eco-friendly practices and continually expand the renewable energy portfolio to meet the growing electricity demand in the country. Adani Transmission is a top privately owned electricity transmission company responsible for constructing and operating transmission lines, substations, and distribution networks. They ensure a consistent and uninterrupted power supply for millions, investing in grid connectivity infrastructure to create a strong, sustainable and reliable power system for the nation. Adani Total Gas is dedicated to distributing clean and eco-friendly natural gas, building city gas distribution networks to provide compressed natural gas for vehicles and piped natural gas for homes, businesses and industries. Customers can enjoy safety, convenience and cost efficiency while reducing their environmental footprint. Lastly, Adani Wilmar is a collaboration between the Adani Group and Singapore's Wilmar International and a major player in the food industry. They produce and distribute a range of edible oils, fats and other food products, from everyday cooking oils to specialty products and grains. Adani Wilmar has a strong presence in Indian households, delivering high-quality food products both locally and internationally. Despite their impressive business ventures, some fraud allegations have been made against Gautama Adani's companies which have been met with denial and legal action. In January of 2023, Hindenburg Research published a report accusing the Adani Group of stock manipulation and financial fraud. This caused their share prices to nosedive, and you can imagine how much of a stir that created. Of course, the Adani Group denied these accusations, but the controversy caught the attention of opposition leaders who called for an investigation. In response, the Supreme Court formed a five-member team to look into these claims. Led by former Judge Abbe M. Sapre, the committee is expected to release its findings in two months. Watam Adani himself took to Twitter to show his support for the court's decision, stating that it would bring finality in a time-bound manner. He remains confident that the truth will ultimately prevail. 
This case could have significant implications for the Adani Group's reputation and for the future of its businesses. We will just have to wait and see how everything turns out. While Gautam Adani's companies are impressive, it's important to note that wealthy individuals like him can often become targets for kidnapping and ransom. In fact, high net worth individuals are often at a greater risk of being kidnapped for financial gain. In 1998, Watama Dani was in a terrifying situation when he and his friend Shantalal Patel were kidnapped after leaving the Carnivati Club in Ahmedabad. The abductors, believed to be gangsters Fazlu Raymond and Bogalal Darji, reportedly demanded a ransom of $1.5 to $2 million. Miraculously, just a day later, both Adani and his friend were released. The details remain murky, and it's unclear if the ransom was ever paid. In the end, the suspects were found not guilty due to a lack of evidence. Interestingly, Watama Adani has experienced not one, but two life-threatening situations. In November 2008, Watama Adani was dining at Mumbai's Taj Hotel with Dubai Port CEO Mohammed Sharaf when terrorists attacked, killing 160 people. Fortunately, Mr. Adani and other guests were escorted to safety by hotel staff, who led them to the basement and later a hall where they spent the night before being rescued by commandos the next morning. Mr. Adani later recounted that he narrowly avoided being caught in the attack by a few associates who called for a second round of meetings over coffee, delaying his exit from the hotel. The experience left a deep impact on him, as he later stated, I saw death at a distance of just 15 feet. Although Gautama Adani faced a harrowing experience during the Mumbai terror attack, he has since gone on to lead a life of luxury and extravagance. His luxurious lifestyle is truly a sight to behold. Let's have a look at some of the most expensive things he owns. First up is his Embraer Legacy 650, a top-of-the-line business jet that Adani uses to fly to and from his various engagements. This sleek aircraft can carry up to 14 passengers and boasts three separate cabins, making it one of the quietest planes in its class. Talk about traveling in style! When he's on the ground, Adani reportedly cruises around in a stunning white Range Rover LWB. This powerful vehicle comes with a 3-liter inline-six diesel engine, producing 346 horsepower and 700 newton-meters of torque. Equipped with a four-wheel drive system and an eight-speed automatic transmission, this luxurious SUV is perfect for any journey. But that's not all. Adani also owns a Rolls-Royce Ghost, the epitome of elegance and sophistication. This ultra-luxurious car is estimated to have cost him a whopping 6.21 crore, equivalent to around 827,466 US dollars, making it one of his most expensive vehicles. He isn't just about wealth and luxury, he's also dedicated to giving back through his philanthropic efforts. In the realm of education, the Adani Foundation has established schools and educational institutions across India, focusing on providing underprivileged children with access to high-quality education. The foundation has worked to expand educational opportunities, support career training, and improve the educational infrastructure in rural areas. Another area where Adani's philanthropy shines is in healthcare. The Adani Foundation has funded various programs and initiatives to provide medical treatment and improve healthcare facilities in underserved regions. This includes setting up clinics, hospitals and medical camps, organizing health awareness programs, and offering emergency medical care. And when it comes to rural development, the Adani Foundation is no less active. They've undertaken numerous projects, such as building roads, bridges, and community infrastructure to help improve the quality of life in rural areas. The Adani Foundation works to provide essential resources like clean drinking water, sanitation facilities, and electricity to remote communities. His life story is an intriguing tale of ambition, determination, and success. It continues to evolve as he navigates new challenges and opportunities to further greatness. He is quite an inspiration, isn't he? What fascinated you the most about him?